In this video, I'm going to show you how to load and unload a reagent for the CS2500. Starting at the main screen, you can go to your quick tabs and select the reagent button, which will take you to the reagent display screen that shows you all of the uh, reagents in QC you have internal to your analyzer, currently on racks. You can select a variety of different information settings from here, uh, the time things have been on the analyzer, and the amount of tests still available. Uh, once you know what it is that you want to change, you want to go ahead and select that reagent and then in the top right corner you're going to collect or click change add this is going to rotate the analyzer racks to the appropriate one so that you can extract it later and you'll notice that it turns blue for the rack that you've selected once it's in place and ready to be removed um, opening the top cover you'll see where the reagent covers are and you want to wait till the green lights are solid and not flashing any longer and then you can go ahead and remove the appropriate um, reagent covers. Um, I'm going to be removing the rack for the outside um, reagents there. So you just reach in and grab the handle and pull it out. And then you can see that these reagents are barcoded and there are slots in the rack. You want to line up that barcode with that slot so that the analyzer can read what reagent it is. And then you see this snugly fits in there. There's different size bottles depending on the reagent and the, rea the racks will have a variety of sizes as well. So you just have to make sure you put them in the right spot. Once you've changed the reagent, you just go ahead and place it back inside and replace the cover and lock it. And then once you do that, it's gonna ask you if you want to update all the volumes currently or you can just skip that because it takes a few minutes and it'll just do it automatically whenever you go to use the reagent. Alright, thank you for watching.